Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.18 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.18 is entitled The Adversary. As mentioned in the last episode, Satan is referred to as a roaring lion and as the adversary in 1 Peter 5, King James Version, Public Domain, verse 8, which is as follows. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around looking for someone to devour. The commentary is, it does seem that Satan is the adversary. But I feel this is an illusion. Satan is here to help us rise to higher truth by offering us a contrast between good, as among the angels, and evil, as in evil old him, although this may not be Satan's point of view. I have an image for you entitled, The Angel Ithuriel. That's spelled I-T-H-U-R-I-E-L. It's by Evelyn De Morgan. It was done before 1900, and I found it in English Wikipedia. It's in the public domain. At the bottom of the picture is Eve reclining on a bed of flowers, sound asleep. Above her is the angel Ethereal, with many wings and a spear and many angels around him. And he seems to be protecting her as she sleeps. That's his face there. See his many wings? And this is Eve lying beneath him sound asleep. And you can see the faces of the little angels all around Ethereal. Here's the description. Ethereal by Evelyn D. Morgan, oil, possibly on canvas, before 1900. Ethereal, as represented by Mrs. D. Morgan, has just found Eve and the tempter. He is accompanied by cherubs whose threefold azure wings are as a blue cloud surrounding him. He wears a soft raiment bright with mother-of-pearl tones. The draperies round the waist and body are rose-colored, and so are the sleeves. The three pairs of wings, very well poised and admirably handled, are crimson-hued with touches of gray-green here and there. Ethereal has light hair, is pale-faced, and the well-drawn hands are as delicate as they could be. It may be thought that this ethereal is too mild, too much like Shakespeare's Oberon, to be in keeping with the terrific tragedy depicted in the first four books of The Paradise Lost. Eve, too, lovely as she is, seems to bear no likelihood of resemblance to Milton's superb mother of mankind. But the picture has a sweet, serene grace, which should make us glad to accept from Mrs. D. Morgan another Eve and another Ithuriel, true children of her own fancy. That's a comment by W. Shaw Sparrow. The comment is, when we are asleep at night, if we are sleeping alone, I find that is the most convenient time for Satan to fill our drowsy ears with bad advice. Satan is the adversary of our dreamtime realm. Yet, the story goes, the prick of ethereal spear goads the demonic realm into speedy departure from our sleeping minds. 
The word ethereal means discovery of God. From that I feel the intention of the story is that our discovery of God is like a mighty spear to fend off the adversary, which is Satan. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.